up y'all it's me tasha c and this particular video sitting here in my bootleg ass pajama shirt also no <laughs> here i'm just keeping it real y'all i will be reviewing recapping the highlights of what i thought about the last part of real housewife of atlanta's reunion part three okay three and it only took five years y'all five years was to finally get to this point I don't know yet, say, if I'm going to review and have enough courage or anybody else. Maybe some of my YouTube other fam can convince me to maybe possibly review the candidate. But I damn sure ain't looking at the secrets behind the scenes, the stuff which they probably should have shown, the extras, the extra fashions, whatever they got next week. Can you say, no, mm -mm, I'm retiring. I may be semi-retiring, but mm -mm. so I may review the candidate thing and I, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. But anyways, y'all, shout out to my YouTube fam. Um, I'm kind of tired after taking five years of this thing, so I won't, like, like, do any shouts this video. I'm probably going to do it tomorrow, and I'm going to do it anyway, because I will be reviewing, um, um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, okay? Shout right. <laughs> so, anyways, anyways, thank you. I just want to, but I do want to say quickly, thank you so much. I have reached 900 subscribers now, and I can thank, like I said, to my YouTube fam, and like I said, I shout out every, like I said, I'm tired, I'm tired. I can't listen, but I don't want to forget because it is growing and my fellow YouTubers and I want to do that. And I also plan this weekend. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I am ranting. I am playing on also trying to do another shout out, you know, volume three, whatever of my shout out videos, either this week or no later next week. But it is coming very soon because I have a little extra time on my hand this month so far. So I'll be able to do some more videos. Anyway, y'all, speaking of rant, y'all almost didn't get this because you know why? I haven't, and I know I've been slacking with the comments and stuff like that, but here's the problem. I was lucked up to put all the videos I made up because here's what happened for a whole entire week until today, y'all. The U-verse that we have here has been acting up. It goes in and out, the TVs go in and out, the Wi-Fi, you know, the internet slash Wi-Fi goes in and out, and the phones all attached to the same thing. So it's been going in and out, and we weren't able to get the earliest appointment until today, okay? <laughs> so... It took me longer, you know, I thought I was admitting I was going to have to go to the library, had to wake the next day when Wilk Mir and certain other people had these things up. But yeah, y'all, I had to, well, it took three technicians today. We barely got, I think, completely fixed until, what, 6 p.m., 6 or 7 p.m. And it was like 9 some somebody came, then they came back around, what, 5 something, and then they had to get another technician for the box thing. So yeah, I almost didn't even get a chance to season time because it took three people today just to kind of fix the problem with the boxes, whatever was in the line pole. But yeah, it kept going in and out. The TV, you know, everything will work like 5 to minutes and go by. I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. I mean, like, this ain't got nothing to do with goddamn review. But, yeah, it does because I would have been able to see what y'all. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like that, y'all. But, yeah, things could have been worse. You know, like, I couldn't get my assignments in one of my classes in time. And then, you know, that would have went out. Like I said, things can always be worse. So, anyways, let's get to this highlights of what the snake is. Like I said, shout out to my YouTube fan, my, my older new subscribers. If you're not subscribed, click down the subscribe button below. Even though I was renting like hell and stuff like that. And like and share this video. And, yes! Let's go into this. Um, I like to put out few things. Number one, question. Question, y'all. Just question. Did they, did they mean the part where Nene was talking about the, that King is doing awesome for $2.50? Since we've seen in previous, but I could have sworn I didn't see that. Okay, but I was waiting for, like I said, to show the final end, okay? Number two, was that some pimp transaction that Paula was saying to Kenya almost? Or was that just me that, you know, kind of was thinking that? And I'm not saying she was doing anything, Kenya was. But I had to say, they were like, what type of damn pimp? Is this how he talking to his uh, um right-hand bitch? As he calls? I, I just was thinking, because the way he was talking to her. And Kenya, I was looking just like Kenya. Like, the hell? Seriously? Okay. Now... I'm going to try to fast forward and not rent as much, whatever. But they had to go extra 30 minutes because I guess because they had the husband. First of all, was there first. And then they end up, of course, having the husband. Have, well, now we could say husband now because Todd, even though he wasn't married right then, he was getting married a week. He is now officially Candy's husband and congrats, okay? Ugh. So, anyways, y'all. Let's get in one of the issues. Of course, there's the Marlo thing. And, you know, Kenya was never, you know, you know, yeah, Kenya was never her friend. Uh, um, I'm glad they're off that fight thing, you know, and, and stuff. Even though if y'all watched what's happened, I started watching, and I stopped watching with the Porsche thing, because that's the first thing brought up, of course, it's going to be, is the fight, and, you know, that, it, it, did that. 
Okay, but now we're talking about the other issues. You know, some surprising needed is someone that talked about when somebody asked a question about the thing about the Marvel. And of course, you know, they also conveniently put in the snippets about, you know, Nene's, uh, I guess Kenny is, uh, you know, um, a fr friendship or a lack of friendship, okay? And basically, you know how Nina's trying to claim, like, you know, Kenny, you know, we're talking about Kenny just trying to take his opportunity. Kenny is another manipulator, blah, blah, blah. And. You know, like I said, we ain't got to go fast forward because a lot of questions is the same things repeated for these whole five years and stuff that we've been waiting for this damn stuff to end, okay? That's it. Anyway, so she don't sit here. And, of course, Nina does not believe in apologizing. Even apologize, if you notice, kind of even to Andy, okay? If it wasn't for her kind of bringing the drama to Wild Fact and being one of the originals once left, it's kind of like even then, like, hey, girl, you you kind of pushing it. I mean, Andy, right, signing checks sometimes, I'm just saying. Or he, I mean, he, I'm just saying. And he may, I don't know, let me know about something because I don't know for sure, but I'm just saying, and he could pull some strings, right? But I'm, I'm just saying the way she's talking to him is kind of like, you know, sideways and stuff. Okay, so anyways, the Marlo issue comes, of course, needs to much, you know, some other stuff with Marlo. I'm only one, which was true, she was only one out of the housewives that was really involved with Marlo care to be around. She was a good friend, you know, she will never work, she's a good friend to Marlo. And it was other stuff, it was strange. Cynthia, you know, who nods her head every two minutes, but we don't know who is she nodding to, I, I, whatever. And I did get a uh, shout out to Leah Daniels. I did want to say she did say she was going to contribute a dollar to the piggy bank for Cynthia's backbone because it's, you know, maybe we should do a GoFundMe for Cynthia, okay? Because I'm, <laughs> it's still, you know, we, like I said, we could probably do a six, I mean, six months to a year plan for her backbone. But, anyways, let's go to this thing here. So we got tomorrow, you got Kenya Nini go back for blah, blah, blah. But Kenya. And, you know, the, you, we have the point here. Kenny, of course, we brought up the thing about Kenny was like this. Was like, well, I, I was always a friend to you, but blah, blah, blah. whatever the tension is. Now, she did rent out, and we've seen it on the screen, that she did lend some of the fur, her furniture to Nene last season when Nene was on those shows. Okay, so I noticed that Nene kind of like, was, well, you know, whatever, or rolling her eyes, whatever the case was, right? So one of the things is, is that, of course, Kenya had brought up, I guess, a put on a blog or tweeted something. And Nene didn't want to break. It's like, it's like, we ain't got to go back and forth, blah, 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 because, you know, ain't, it, it's just a repeat and there's no answers. But one of the things I'm just saying to me, okay. So, she going to bring up, of course, about how Kenya, you know, they go back and forth, and you know, back, forth, 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 back, forth. And, you know, Nene's like, okay, you can go ahead and talk to you. It's done. Dead. Do, 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 blah, 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 she, she, blah, whatever the, whatever the fuck she was saying, okay. So, she sat there and brought up that Kenya had put down that she was saying like she was a wash up. Basically like, you know, she used to be extra about can she talk about anybody and she had short little two comedies and stuff like that or whatever, okay? Um, and then, you know, of course it's kind of like flipping around on other folks, you know, because she tries to say, well, I'm just a, 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 a stripper anyway. Kenya's like, I didn't say that. And then you got somebody else, I forgot who was saying that too. And it's like, nobody said nothing. But here's the thing here. And Kenya says she brought that up after, say, um, she had a nurse. We, we now they repeat and they want to do at least twice because there was two angles. They talking about with a Peter and him getting the women's business and stuff and him trying to get a peach, but obviously that was a good ass peach. Because you would say Peter up there grabbing on that dirt peach. He's like, shit, I spent money on this motherfucker. I'm about to eat this thing. And also the angle of Nene with her attitude towards that same event. So we kind of seen like the same scenario. You know what I mean? So in other words, y'all. She is sitting, she did say, I ain't mean, nobody, nobody on my level, and blah, 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 ain't nobody in this motherfucker. And you gotta admit, like, Cynthia is a female, too, and that's, that's kind of, like, could apply to her as well. So, in a way, I'm keeping it real, y'all, I mean, Kenya was right, like, how the heck you sitting to all somebody else, and nobody, everybody's at the same, you know, nobody's better than anybody. And then, you know, Portia's like, you know, Phaedra's like this, like, um, I mean, she wasn't talking me, I wasn't even there. And then, but for Kenya... <laughs> Kenny would let her know, like, uh, I know she wasn't talking to me. We like, yeah, we know, because you the ice page, bitch, and you ain't got to be on the show. You still collect them checks, okay? Shit, you could probably switch switch places with Andy. I'm just saying, who knows how much money that she's really worth, and that's just what we see. But I'm just saying, Candy Man has a lot of investments. She's a very smart woman. She come in that business, okay? Ching, 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 okay? So, in other words, you know, Nene was silent about that, you know, to that point. And then it turns out... Nene, because she was also referring, this is one I'm all over the place, random, but Nene got nerves to bring up. Now, we already know Mama Joyce is a very lovely, um, a a lovely person for entertainment for the show. Yeah. 
But at the same time, it did not I understand that you know right and right and wrong is wrong, even when a person is an ass or something like that. But what the hell did Mama Joyce had anything to do with what happened at the charity event, okay? Did Mama Joyce even talk about, she was just up there cutting hands and praise with Nene and stuff like that, and kind of like, you know what, girl, you had to shake ass, I was going to shake my tooth. I had a mice bow today. They were just kumbaya last, you know, the, the the second part. But here's Nene trying to justify it. It's like, she, you know, about the Bailey Bull, because, you know, Candy was saying, like, you you know, about she was surprised and Nene had left. She never seen him do that. I mean, she was surprised did that. And then they did rewind the tapes and shit. She didn't. Well, you never seen me do that, and can. It was like, yes, we did. And it was like, roll the tapes, okay? And then we see Nene when Sheree was sitting there about getting out that seat and stuff, walk behind. Nene was power walking her ass to her car with the damn person up here. The only thing we seen to remember, y'all, um, when Sheree was still on there, she gonna, she gonna sing the door. And she was talking about her damn fucked up teeth. And then sitting there, she was like, it's for nares. It's for mares. And then proceed to power walk to the car, okay? Heels and all, okay? She was power walking like, here, okay? We just seen the back of that head. And then we see Sheree, like, letting her know, like, you know, what about your car? I mean, she did walk away we didn't see that but she nurse to bring up mama joyce you know talking about some um well um she won't lower herself like mama joyce because her son was there and blah 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 ain't nobody was up there it was just you and sheree and probably a, a glass of water on both sides there was nobody there besides probably cameras and maybe custom customers whether they knew about y'all was spilling or not for the show but i'm just saying this your son wasn't there so i know you say excuses because you didn't you know, i can understand you were like that you don't want to like say be buying from the kid but there was no kids there, so let's be for real. You have a mouthpiece, but I don't think, I think she's no, she may be a giant, you know, can, if they ever remake Amazon Women. Or, did they have a movie? I could have sworn, you know, have a stuff with Mabel Doll, she'd be the queen of the Amazon stuff. She's tall as, you know, you got me, she, she, she's tall as hell and everything else. But at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, I don't, I think Nene is the type of person who, like I said, is known for her mouth. Okay. So, um... She's trying to just by okay, you take it, take okay, I see something, but I that's how I felt. You didn't have to sit and wait. She trying to say gun and can't let her know, like, okay, that's some bullshit. You didn't have to sit here. I try to be respectful while I don't like people be courteous and level headed, keep it low, keep it friendly and keep it cool. And you sitting here, you know, messing up, you know, basically messing up the soul train line of sitting here talking smack. Okay, and you know, she, she, you know, Nene does not believe in apologizing, and that was the thing brought up too. Is Nene doesn't, you know, Nene's type of person who wants to dish out everything. She wants to basically, there's a, well, you know, how them cream pies and they, okay, that ain't sour, but you know what I mean, them pies and they just be pieing you in the face and stuff. Now, that's the cream pie I meant, you know, and some of y'all, that's my fucking stone hell, that's what I'm talking about, and not me. Never mind. But anyway, what I'm saying is, is that, you know, bottom just like your face. And then if somebody try to come after her and throw a pie in her face, she'll be the type of person be like, how dare you? Or then got a nurse be like, coming you opposite. Like, like I said, she came and said, like, the whole model thing, how she was pissed off because Kenya kept trying to intervene and force Marlo to talk. She said she didn't want to talk to her at that time. But I'm thinking you didn't want to supposedly talk to Marlo anymore, period, for what we hear. So... I don't know, but it was true that it turned out that three-way call was not a lie. Cynthia did confirm it. Nagura, Cynthia also confirmed it was a strained relationship prior to that then, but she did confirm that, Nene said, you know, if you want to, you know, go over there and, suit and get your suitcases and sit out with that person, then, you know, you, you mess with, you be with that person only, but don't mess with me. But she's trying to, you know, that, that's what, it, that's what it is. We'll never know, uh, unless we got proof, it's always going to be word of word of mouth of mouth for somebody, but. As far as why is the real reason why the the, the, the her and Marlo's friendship went down with him, you know. So she also said she tried to help Marlo, so I don't know. But Marlo said she was trying to help her put on some game of some fashion stuff. So I don't you know, it could be both one or none of the above. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just saying as far as who's telling what truth. And so what else? Like I said, you just got that back and forth stuff going on. And because, like I said, we ain't got a fast, but of course, like I said, the moral thing is Kenya saying her words in and basically saying how she's not really a good friend. If nobody basically, she has to be controller, which I do believe Nina is, Nene is a control freak and stuff of that nature. And especially since she got some extra coins and she's been in here. She's the original housewife, I mean, of this franchise. And she's been on two shows. Can you imagine if she was in movies, y'all? Because if she liked that in a couple of series, they kind of just, you know, when that, and you know, um, she did, what was it, Justin J, you he was talking about his, her, his, we, I think also too, was it my, my YouTube cousin, Janae, uh, Janae, uh, Janae <laughs> and I think Miss Nika, I think, like I said, there was some people who were talking about the feet, I don't know, I remember, sorry, y'all, like I said, I couldn't even do as much because my Wi-Fi was messed up for about, I mean, just the internet period, and TV was all messed up the whole entire week, really, so, Anyways, um, 
we got that. Like I said, we just back and forth, back and forth. So we ain't got to go back. It was like tennis. We were just doing the tennis thing again, y'all. Just back and forth, back and forth. So we're going to bring up. Remember with Phaedra, this is an interesting point. Now, Phaedra was talking about how, um, about her personal life. Because they brought up that about, you know, especially what you're going to do. She's like, some things should be put out on TV. And it was kind of like, even Andy had her mind, which is true is. But when you're on a reality show and you're basically putting yourself in front of the camera, you are letting people probably millions and millions of people especially this season you're allowing them to look into your life you know what I'm saying it's just you, you, when you put yourself down on camera okay and you post it whether it's on YouTube or any, you know any social media or stuff like that or unfortunately in some cases people put it on there without your knowledge um you know in some cases it's like when you put out there you have a chance of people respond you letting people into your life you see what i'm saying so what i'm saying is, is you look at the same man you're like ranger please like girl please you trying to shine <laughs> you're trying to shine a dirty a dirty corner and make it shiny and it's still dirty okay i'm just saying as far as a i know that making a sense but i'm telling you <laughs> what i'm saying is is that it's like why did you go to a reality show then maybe i know to get more ventures on it did help her show like how she got more jobs but at the same time then they got Apollo. Did y'all know where Apollo had a suit coat on? Because we're just going to fast forward because we're talking about Phaedra and all the stuff she was going through. And, you know, the ups and downs with her and Apollo marriage and the whole Kenya thing. Because she's still like Kenya Moore, whore, and all this other stuff. And now Kenya's trying to be thirsty for a storyline and stuff like that, okay? And now, like I said, here's the interesting part. Let's get into the Apollo uh, thing. Now, Apollo got a t-shirt on and got a suit coat on and then two seconds later i blinked my eyes and it was gone it was like cha disappear okay right and they're talking of course about the issue about of course his pending felony case and he said he just let it play out you know when he was asked by andy and so phaedra you know they go they went for the issue about where phaedra was talking about you know i think then about camera talk, talking i mean she's like you could have just came to us and talk to us instead of some foul stuff and to can taking a chance of speaking to him or stuff like that without permission. You on some sly shit. You know, you've been flirting with him ever since, you know, what kind of whore would do that with flirt with a man the first time I said that shit will hold some holes too. They flirt with me. Okay, if, anyways, what I'm saying is is that um what I meant to say flirt with somebody else's man and I'm kinda like, okay, um, never mind. But what I'm saying is is that, you know, you got Apollo speaking and it's just getting worse. And, you know, of course, they showed the clip back. Even now, I want to talk about the cheating thing and all this other stuff. And Apollo decides to come to Kenya because Kenya actually this time is sitting here doing her sideway pose um, and kind of was kind of not even talking at the moment. And Apollo takes itself to sit here and say that um, Kenya, I, excuse me, I'm talking to you. I just want to say this. Uh, you know, you know, you better hope nothing happened to me or I don't even judge because I am your storyline, okay? I'm here, you need to owe me, but I should have, you know, of course, Kenny, of course, I think she talked or something back again, we already know how that was. And, she, you know, he's like, you know, he also said he had to text him, but he didn't, just like Kenya with the, you know, the other situation. Um, how are you going to have a phone, you know, you're talking about you have something, don't have to prepare. Even Kenya, I think, had another text that you're talking about her Nini was talking about. I think it was the model or Cynthia issue or whatever. And I'll get to that because I forgot about, you know, bringing up the show with the a charity bit. Because, like I said, we're, it was just too much. Um... So he decides, I just want to talk about this pimp stuff, because I'm just like, what the hell? Because he's talking stuff to Kenya, again, just like crossing the line, like, if I could hit it, I could have. And it's like, the hell? And all of a sudden, you know, of course, they go back for whatever. And she's talking about, of course, um, um, Apollo being criminal. So, you know, he could say anything and said that, you know, because uh, he said she, a couple weeks ago or something, apologized to him about, I guess, how he's playing talk. Because I think she, you know, of course, Bethany, she was talking um stuff one of the things she was talking about on the bethany show um was about she thinks apollo is going to go to jail for it, but she was trying to say no comment and stuff and um she said you know basically he gonna sit here and talk about you know what if i do go to jail i'm gonna pee, give me my p.o box and you don't give me some money and i expect you or give me or expect or whatever i could of course i know i'm prayer phrasing enough because i'm just it was in shock and you know i'm gonna sing you just in case something happened to me i'm gonna give you the thing so you can you put some money in my books and i'm, I'm like great like the fuck type of uh, what uh, huh i'm, I'm just i'm just seeing like some pep, what is this? I, I don't know why y'all i don't have words but 
of that because I'm like, seriously? I'm, uh, um, and I mean, Phaedra ain't saying nothing. I mean, just because it's just, just sitting here like it, that, that, that's, oh, uh, why? Oh, why? Why? I, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> it just seemed like some pimps are like, he's basically telling Kenya put some money on his books. Like, that's one of his bitches or bitches he wishes to have or whatever. And, I mean, you know, because he's been eyeing Kenya since the moment. So, some excuse to, like, you know, have access. Then he's going to be trying to send a love. Look, I'm just saying is, is that that's what he's making applying is. Because you telling him the P.O. box that's indirectly letting him, uh, letting us know that he still wants to fuck with Kenya. And if possible, well, if, they, if Webby gets, if they still continue with, you know, the visits, bang, bang, if you get that as well too. But I'm just saying, uh, he still wants some type of relationship with Kenya. And that was his way of getting it. Even though telling a bitch you better have my money is kind of like, what the hell? Because, like I'm saying, I'm sorry, that, I, I'm like, okay, damn. And one of the things that was brought up, I think it was right before the other um, husbands came and stuff, was about, they finally talked about this pillow fight. Okay. I forgot to tell you also about the charity thing, which then, of course, Kenya, you know, Kenya said they did take it down to the website. And we already know that there's so much information. It's kind of like, you know, Nene was trying to sit here and still make it comply, like, you know, as if Kenya didn't give to no charity event. Because, you know, people are talking about her stink ass attitude. And, of course, this is one of the main events that kind of like sprung two things. Greg having some problem with, 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 with Peter. Did you notice they didn't go into the issue about the Peter and the Greg? There was no questions asked or nothing. They kind of like, kind of, shifted off from that issue because they talk about needy with the bitch thing which is true but it's kind of like what reason at that time did Pete if, he, if Greg had a problem it should have been said then during the events they're waiting what about five months later to talk about and threaten you gonna do something to Peter and stuff don't you ever come my wife or don't you ever come my bitch <laughs> I mean I don't know I'm just saying that he waited so long to say something like really and that wasn't brought up so anyways y'all Back to what I was saying. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So we're going back to the pillow fight. And then there was an issue about was Kenyon the one, you know, about the star. Because Nini says it's not the star. But we did see some of some hidden things that Nini was saying, where's the star at? But she could have been saying sarcastic, but she's not here. But the star is already here. And then about Phaedra, then what you felt kind of awkward bringing a husband around Sings Lake and women praying around their drawers. And Nini had to say about, you know, Phaedra last day was sitting there with, you know, um, a thong, a thong a, a, being chokehold in her ash cheeks um, when they went to, what was that island they went to, whatever. Um, when Ken, Kenya the first, uh, fir, uh, when Kenya made her debut, and Ken, you know, Phaedra's like, well, there ain't no saying or nothing like that. And then we see the other part where Paul was going off on Phaedra. Phaedra again was trying to make excuses, but he, she was just heated about, about the fight he had. Because he called her everything like, you know, you're not going to win. You're not going to talk to me, blah, blah, and this and this, this and that. And then but she called her asshole. Did you hear my nose breath talking about something? You know, I, I, I drove. You can walk home or something like that. Uh, what the fuck? Because, you know, supposedly they're counseling and they're doing better. Okay, anyway, so we got this issue with the pillow fight. It's a whole debate. Uh, Christopher grabbed her arm, which can't even he did grab the arm. Now, I understand what Grace of Lee is. Okay, we got Peter there. He's sitting here with his peaches like, you know, everybody keeps saying my bitch. Also knows even Andy said it was either Papa Smurf or Uncle Ben to your, your, your convenience. And it was just the issue about who started it. And, you know, Nina, of course, still to this day is trying to make it seem like Kenya was the one who started this fight. And I still, to this day, can you not even, the all, you know, all whatever, not, and it's not being biased. And they honestly, I don't think Kenya was the one that started fighting, was put into position. You know, even Kenya did bring an interesting point, like, you know, to Nene, like, uh, Nene talked about everybody was having fun. And Kenya was like, what? And by the way, speaking of that pillow fight, remember, y'all, Nene gonna have nerves and audacity to sit here talking about, um, people putting stuff, you know, because she's talking about, um, with Apollo saying stuff about people or her particular or ruin her rep. And Nene takes the time to imply like, well, you were sitting here saying like, I was possibly on drugs and stuff like that. I never been on drugs in my life. Well, you know, some people don't count anything, don't count prescription drugs to get from the doctor because they're prescribed as drugs. I mean, I'm not trying to be silly or anything, but I'm just saying that she's made thinking just because it's not something on the street does not count as anything, but she was everything. But even Kenya was like, uh, I ain't the only one. America pretty much thought you was on something way. Even Candy, someone that said you were geeked that don't put can't, can't, um, Candy too and stuff. You know, like I said, it was just all this back and forth, whatever, right? So, that that was one of the things there. And then it was about the issue of, you know, Apollo at, did end up calling him 
um, Brandon, because there really was no secret, but it was apology. And, you know, Paul, Paul said he talked for two hours, and Kenny was saying something along the lines like, that's not true. They talked about a bunch of stuff, but it was irrelevant to, like, apologize for talking to him. Because Apollo's still trying to claim that like, he apologized He's because he said so many boys and young boys and uh, young girls look up to him. Okay, like I said, he so-called apologized and said that paper wasn't worth it. But he claimed still there was rage in Brandon's ass. And um, supposedly um, that's why he went to help Peter. But like I said, he was getting up, but it still just seemed like it went out of trope. And that would, it would have not happened if there was like certain questions not been implied. Because the whole thing kind of started with the opportunists slash Nene bringing up the issue about um, the opportunists were being thrown around. And slash about what the common law wife thing, whatever, right? So we got to deal with that. Then... We we you know the backpedaling who's back for who riding a bike in circles or whatever the hell it is. So like I said, it was just like like a lot of stuff that was robbed that was never really resolved because nobody's some some people apologize some but not. Just like how uh, Candy had to let uh, Miss Nene know about the you know check her about her uh, whatever you know a <laughs> couple times. But here's what like I said it, it was just messed up about how how pillow fight there. But also a lot of stuff went when why the pillow fight because besides talk you know how it felt like. The Mama George situation is sad because, you know, he got his blessings from Candy's dad. And he just feels like this is future mother-in-law. He just wants peace and stuff. But he really, it, it really is kind of sad that he didn't have approval from Mama Joyce as far as taking Candy's hand in marriage and stuff. But, you know, and the issue was brought up about why was Todd, you know, how did Todd feel about um, the issues with, uh, you know, these are his so-called friends. And, you know, them saying or implying like he might be possible opportunist. And a child said so polite, well, you know, it's a, high, it's a high rating show. The checks are good. He's trying to get a spot on TV, which I do think that's what they were trying to do. And it backfired in their face, you know, really smart. Because I heard they're not supposed to come back. And we haven't seen him anymore ever since that incident occurred. And he's Todd said recently, like, I seen Christopher not too long ago. Okay, y'all. Of course, a little break. I've got to switch the back. The, the, the batteries but yeah to the point about her derogatory statement and particularly Brandon which you know we already know um Eddie's a gay man Brandon's gay man and her statements to keep using that term queen or he in a dream eyes will be in a dress but whatever stuff that was really crossing the line and stuff and you know like I said you know we like I said is uh, you know being the bitch that she is and continues to sit here and try to justify, you know, kind of like, okay, and, okay, it, you know, you had a nurse apologize, but the way he's apologizing is like, okay, bitch, I'm just apologizing just because, or whoever, because I think it was somebody, a, a, was it a, a lady who working, but it was kind of like, that's how kind of like this attitude's like, rolling her eyes and shit, and then she decides to sit here, and, you know, even Andy was like, he felt that was derogatory, and he was kind of like, basically in the regular, you know, like, look at here, bitch, you know, um, just let you know something. Uh, maybe it's what got, but that is derogatory, and it's a personally, obviously, it's personally offensive to me. And he was acting like, okay, and um, whatever, and her apology. Okay, I'm sorry. And what else do y'all want me to do? Okay, do you, do you want me to, you know, you pull your pants out and I kiss your ass? And then it's just like, well, to a certain point, I'd rather you. I would like to see that happen to a certain point because you don't usually, you know. In other words, we already know Nick is usually, uh, uh, uh Nene is usually a a bitch to the core okay sorry run show i'm just waiting for it. <laughs> but you get what i'm saying so for her even then she's kind of like still is thinking like okay and so what i say them statements and i'm thinking like um yeah. um you were on a show the new normal and um and I'm just saying, you know, you don't cross people's lines. And in the way she didn't seem even, she didn't even pretend, she didn't even act. So she is a natural actress, okay, that she should be able to pull off to make it seem like, you know, she didn't even say I'm part of. She just kept it real. I'm a bitch, and people both kiss my ass, and that's the attitude that she still has, okay? Because that's pretty much what it was, okay? Um, anything else? Nothing too much that stood out to me because it was an extra 30 there minutes we didn't need. It's like Greg said, that's all the time we have. We got a new suit. I'm like, you know, I mean, this, this here, it was already long enough. I mean... I mean, besides, like I said, we had to back and forth or whatever. But I'm sorry, y'all. That's all I got. I'll probably talk about damn near 30 minutes because I can't <laughs> with the oration. But yeah, I have a place we play tonight. Can weekend? I definitely probably will do many minutes tonight. And this stuff by the time I transfer, probably won't be online until after midnight anyway. 
But you will be seeing me tomorrow. And I'm going to try to get it as soon. Do it as soon as after it airs. Shout right. Shout, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm doing that thing. If y'all heard that pheno. Oh, I hope I'm saying their name right. F-I-L-N-O. I'm trying to make it so I ain't flipping it around. I think, you know, you know they be doing them cartoons and stuff like uh, Lil Wayne and all them. And they had a ringtone. And that's actually my ringtone right there. Shout Rod, Mimi, and they used it in their love and hit lot, hit about last one, whatever. I should probably put them down below. <laughs> I mean, I, sorry, I, I'm just reciting. But anyways, y'all, it's time for me to get off of here of this thing. And that's all I got. I'm glad it's over with. Woo! I'm sorry, y'all, because this, I can't take another five years of this shit. Like I said, I, if it comes back, I mean, no, not if it comes back. I may review it. It just depends. They have to really prevent some things. And I may, may not. It's very, it's, a, it's about 40% chance I may review the candy wedding. And, and y'all, but anyway, yeah, love y'all. Hugs. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care.